welcome back to my channel. I am really tired and I'm just sitting on the sofa in my pyjamas. Um, I'm just chilling. Well, not really pyjamas, I'm more like loungewear. I wouldn't really want to wear these to bed, to be honest. My material's a little bit weird. Um, they're from Nasty Gal. I will link below. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would do, I know originally I said I was gonna do a video originally being like, oh, what I kept from whole week, but what I thought would be a little bit more fun would be kind of going through the best things and the worst things and like the biggest surprises because I think for me I was really surprised by a few things this this week and I was really disappointed by others so I thought I'd just go through and recap on some of them so if you are just tuning in and basically you kind of can't be asked to watch every video which I fully understand um it's a good way to kind of just have a little bit of an overview of uh the highlights and the low lights week the highs and the lows so you know what i'm gonna start with the best things because i feel like it's nice to start with a good so one of my favorite things this week was the lawn the lawn luxe dress the black one and i i just love the way that it fitted you know when you're trying something and you're like this makes me feel awesome and like i, I know lorna and i know that that's that's exactly what she wants people to feel like in her in in her clothes so it's really nice to actually put it on and be like yep yeah, yeah i feel that i completely feel where she's coming from with this like it looks great it feels great and uh it's i just think it's lovely i think i was really 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 happy with it another one is a topshop teddy coat it was so soft and snuggly and i just when i tried it on i was got so excited i think it's something that i'll wear a lot in the upcoming season it's very very subtle so it goes with a lot of things and that's one thing i absolutely love about it so yeah i'm really crazy excited to wear that when it gets a little bit colder as it's a bit too warm to wear at the moment another coat the coat from weekday the judy jacket i love it, it i think it's because it kind of reminds me of like vintage burberry i just i think it looks super super cool i it's very warm so i feel like it's really practical i think it'll really come into its own as the weather starts to turn and it gets a lot colder and it's definitely still big enough to be able to fit a nice cozy jumper under so and then the end and other stories wrap blouse like I said in the video, that was a complete whim of a buy. I wasn't really expecting. I just I just got it like that. I was like, oh, I'll see what it's like. It was just basically just trying out something new, getting a bit outside my comfort zone. And I was, I loved it. I really loved it. I cannot wait to wear it out. And another thing is my Reformation skirt, the silk satin skirt. I just, I know obviously it's a pricier piece, but I just honestly think it fits so nicely. Like the Lorna Luxe dress, it's just one of those pieces that I put on and I feel amazing in it. And I love the fact that you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it with trainers and like a jumper or something like that. And then another thing which I was really, really surprised by and so happy when I came across it and like especially when I tried it on was the vintage bomber jacket. Like honestly, I have wanted a jacket like that for ages and i'm so happy that i've got it and i just i love the fit of it i love that it's oversized i find that a lot of the time like i guess with the vintage blazer that i tried you go for oversized but it's kind of not because it's not designed to be oversized but it was made for a lot like it, it was made as a larger size it doesn't fit quite right it doesn't fit in the cool oversized way it fits in the literal I'm wearing my dad's jacket kind of way, whereas I feel like this bomber jacket, it did fit in that expensive kind of like luxe oversized way that a high-end brand would do like like i said like with acne okay and let's go from the worst things and the biggest disappointments of the week i think it goes without saying that my hunt for a nice white shirt dress has completely failed i probably relied too heavily on the online affordable brands and that's probably where i went wrong but those shirts mostly well there was one pretty little thing one which was okay but the misguided there was a there's one misguided two pretty little thing ones which were dreadful and a misguided one and yeah like just not good at all really really disappointing i i should have known better like they just look ridiculous so let's just like write that one off let's just pretend like none of that happened it is fine another one and this is quite perhaps a surprising one but i would actually say is one of the biggest disappointments would actually be the and other stories blazer i was just expecting so much more from it especially considering i found their blazers to be so incredible i just cannot believe how expensive it is 
for like the quality that it is like really blew my mind like I've never I hope I would imagine that's probably a one-off from the brand I've never had that before so yeah I'm a little bit like what so yeah no that was a big disappointment and then I would say finally the another big disappointment would be the Zara jumper I feel like it's just it, the one with the puffy sleeves it was just so so itchy I just I don't know who they make these things for like I don't feel like I'm that sensitive I don't feel like my skin is that sensitive to things like but I just don't understand like who could possibly wear that and be like yeah I feel fine I feel nothing like do people not have like sensors on their skin but like, do, do you not feel but I do feel like I kind of made up for that because I did find quite a few similar tops i know i have that really nice nasty gal top which is a kind of similar vibe to that so i know i don't feel too bad about letting that piece go okay and finally i'm gonna finish on the biggest surprises of the week and these are things which really sort of completely took me by surprise and i have to say the pretty little thing suit which i want to take out the packet and vomit over because it just i was just like Ugh, yuck yuck no nasty uh yeah that probably is up there that is one of the ones and then the two nasty girl leopard print things and like for literally the same reason i took it i remember that like, it's the same thing that i said for both i took them them at both the pretty little thing suit and the leopard print pieces from nasty girl out of their wrapper and was like Ugh, like cheap 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 it feels cheap and i don't like it and then i put it on and i was like whoa this feels way more expensive now it's on the body i'm glad i gave this a chance i'm glad that i ordered these things and like i said about the leopard print dress like it fits beautifully so i was really 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 happy with them anyway guys thank you so much for watching my video i hope you've enjoyed whole week i hope you enjoyed this little fun like run through at the end to tell you just to kind of go back over the best and the worst of whole week so uh yeah i've definitely like got lots in my wardrobe i'm not gonna shop for a month now i might actually just quit i'm just probably not gonna buy anything for the next two months Oh, there's a really big fly that's coming. Go away! Ugh, yuck. Um, oh, damn, it's huge. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. In the meantime, for more updated daily fashion inspiration at Sophie Milner and Squat FS, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys very, very soon.